The day I walked down the aisle of St. Paul's Cathedral, I felt that my personality was taken away from me, and I was taken over by the royal machine. When you are happy, you can forgive a great deal. I knew that something profound was coming my way, and I was just treading water, waiting for it. I didn't know what it was, but I knew I was different from my friends and where I was going. I like to be a free spirit. Some don't like that, but that's the way I am. Carry out a random act of kindness with no expectation of reward safe in the knowledge that one day someone might do the same for you. Only do what your heart tells you. They say that it is better to be poor and happy than rich and miserable. But how about a compromise like moderately rich and just moody? I think the biggest disease the world suffers from in this day and age is the disease of people feeling unloved. Every one of us needs to show how much we care for each other, and in the process, care for ourselves. Everyone needs to be valued. Everyone has the potential to give something back. People think that at the end of the day, a man is the only answer. Actually, a fulfilling job is better for me. I want my boys to have an understanding of people's emotions, their insecurities, people's distress, and their hopes and dreams. If you find someone you love in your life, then hang on to that love. And if you were lucky enough to find someone who loved you, then you must protect it. Anywhere I see suffering, that is where I want to be, doing what I can. Nothing brings me more happiness than trying to help the most vulnerable people in society. It is a good and essential part of my life, a kind of destiny. Hugs can do great amounts of good especially for children. The kindness and the affection from the public have carried me through some of the most difficult periods, and always your love and affection have eased the journey. A mother's arms are more comforting than anyone else's. I think like any marriage, especially when you've had divorced parents like myself, you want to try even harder to make it work. I will fight for my children on any level so they can reach their potential as human beings and in their public duties. So many people supported me through my public life, and I will never forget them. My first thoughts are that I should not let people down that I should support them and love them. I knew what my job was. It was to go out and meet the people and love them. I don't want expensive gifts. I don't want to be bought. I have everything I want. I just want someone to be there for me, to make me feel safe and secure. I am not a political figure. I'm a humanitarian figure. Always was, always will be. The greatest problem in the world today is intolerance. Everyone is so intolerant of each other. Is it a weakness that I lead from my heart and not my head? I know that I can give love for a minute for half an hour, for a day, for a month. But I can give. I am very happy to do that. I want to do that. 
Whoever is in distress can call on me. I will come running wherever they are. I want to walk into a room, be it a hospital for the dying or a hospital for the sick children, and feel that I am needed. I want to do, not just to be. I'd like to be a queen in people's hearts, but I don't see myself being a queen of this country. It took me a long time to understand why people were so interested in me. Family is the most important thing in the world. It's vital that the monarchy keeps in touch with the people. I live for my sons. I would be lost without them. Helping people in need is a good and essential part of my life. A kind of destiny. Subscribe to the channel.